Hello, good day, everyone. I hope everything is going well with you. And I welcome you back to our subject, Purposive Communication Using English in Multilingual Context. I hope that you are in a comfortable seat wherever you are watching this pre-recorded video. So in unit one, we discuss language and communication, right? So you had learned also the nature of language, the types of communication, and the process principles processes and ethics. And without further ado, let's proceed with our new topic, which is all about the unit two modes of communication. So this unit is composed of two lessons, and these are the following forms of communication, communication and technology. So let's start with the learning outcomes of our lesson one forms of communication. Our first learning outcome is to identify the various communication modes and how they help in expressing one's communicative intent. Second, show the importance of face-to-face -face audio, video, text-based, and other forms of communication, particularly in targeting different types of audiences in local and global settings. Third is to, is to distinguish, <coughs> sorry. Again, third is to distinguish the differences between and among the communication modes. And last learning outcome is to use this appropriately depending on the context of the communication situation. So what is communication modes? So in unit one, lesson three, you learned about the communication types, right? Thus, it is important for you to know how communication types and modes complement each other to achieve good communication. So what is communication modes? So communication mode refers to the channel through which one expresses his or her communicative intent. It is the medium through which one conveys his or her thoughts. And lastly, views or feelings can be communicated through face-to-face -face interaction, video interaction, and audio interaction. And the mode may also be uh, a text-based communication. So in short, a mode is a means of communicating. It's uh, face-to-face, video, audio, or even text-based, and that is the communication modes, okay? There are four communication modes. These are the face-to-face, -face, video, audio, and text-based. So let's start with the first communication mode, which is all about the face-to-face -face interaction. So face-to-face -face interaction is the most common of all modes. It is an informal or casual conversation between or two or more people. And people engage in social conversation to establish relationship or maintain them. And lastly, it is one way of gaining new acquaintances or friends, acquaintances or friends. So face-to-face -face interaction is defined as a, uh, as a mutual influence of individuals' direct physical presence with his or her body language. So face-to-face -face interaction is one of the basic elements of the social system forming a significant part of individual socialization and through experience gaining throughout one's lifetime. Like for example, face-to-face -face in, uh, job interview is one of the examples of face-to-face -face interaction, confronting someone, social activities, or even one-on-one -on -one meetings with managers or the team leaders. Or can you away mo sing ang boyfriend or girlfriend nga na inyong presence as in naamo uh, personally that is considered as a face-to-face -face interaction. Pwede po siya uh, virtually. Okay? Ang virtual, dito na siya sa video interaction. And I have a question here on board. What are the important considerations in relationship in terms of face-to-face -face interaction? First is how to speak. Second, what to speak. Third, when to speak. And fourth, want to speak and these are the following or these are the important consideration in relationship in terms of face-to-face -face interaction and according to Dal Viore according to her be brave enough to start a conversation that matters the question is are you brave enough to start a conversation that matters well 
conversation are the key parts of life that change us and others. Because every moment in a conversation is an opportunity to inspire, to motivate, challenge, and support others. Like, like for example, um, you are invited sa wedding tapos wala ka kaila si mong katapad. So dinhaan na ma-insert ang quote ni Dao Viore nga, be brave enough to start a conversation that matters. So kay naaman mo sa wedding, ang conversation ninyo is all about the wedding. Like for example, you ask a question if unsa iya hang relationship sa bride ba or sa groom. Kay di ba, agiingon ni Dao Viore, start a conversation that matters. So naaman mo sa wedding nga situation. So of course, darapod nga topic ang inyo hang basihan ang imo nga basihan nga i-ask nimo sa imong katapad lain sab og magtalk ka sa wedding ta uh, lain sab og na na uh, ka sa wedding tapos magtalk ka sa imong katapad about bill of rights marag out of nowhere naman siya di ba <laughs> dapat um, start jud conversation that matters kung unsa nga situation na amo okay i hope that's clear next we have from uh, Margaret J Wetley she said, all social change begins with a conversation. And that is right. Indeed, this is so special. Special if that one single and simple conversation blossoms into a deeper contact. And, that is, uh, and that's what uh, Margaret J. Wetley means. Okay? And lastly, according to Diana Wetley, Meaning is made in conversation. Reality is created in communication and knowledge is generated through social interaction. And language is the vehicle through which we create our understanding of the word. Therefore, language is a system of communication that relies on verbal or nonverbal codes to transfer information. Because communication is a way of interchanging messages or information between two or more people focusing on the message because remember that language is a tool of communication again the first the first mode of communication is the first is the face to face interaction and the next um, communication mode is a video communication so what is video web cameras are used to are used so that two or more people who cannot interact face-to-face -face can communicate. If there are no technical glitches encountered, this could be a very effective mode of communication, especially for people who separated by distance, mga OFW, mga, mga parents na to, or say, even in your relationship with mga LDR, this video communication is very helpful kung walay uh, technical glitches nga ma-encounter. An electronic application that allow video calls our Viber, WhatsApp, Apple FaceTime, and Facebook Messenger, and among others. Okay, again, uh, video conferencing or video communication is very effective kung walay technical glitches nga mahitabong. Or kung kusog po nang imuhang uh, PL data connection or globe connection or even your da data connection. Pas -pas ko. Kung pas -pas ko, you can adjust the speed para uh, masabtan lang akong ipaan. discussion. The third communication mode is the audio. So what is audio? Audio means transmitted sound. In this mode of communication, only the voice of the speaker is heard. And the use downside of this mode is not being able to see the body, language, or cues of the person you are talking to. Audio communication mode is quite difficult, especially if you are listening to people with different accent. Labaw na sa mga employee from uh, sa... Um, call center agent. Labaw nagbisaya kanda ko niya na call center agent ka o niya ang imuhang uh, imong, ka, imong customer is grabe mga accent the rising and falling intonation is there. O, oh, di ba? Lisod kayo mo adjust. Di ba? At first, lisod yung kayo na siya mag-adjust. Pero, again ha, the downside of this OG communication is you cannot see the body language. Dili ni mo makita ang ihang kagwapa. Dili ni mo makita ihang beautiful smile in his uh, shining eyes. Di ba? Dili, dili ni mo makita. Only the sound. Next, communication mode. The last mode of com uh, the last is the text based communication. So, example of text based communication, such as email, fast email, text messaging, and instant messaging. So, social networking sites such as Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram likewise offer text based interaction because text based communication mode does not 
originally provide video and audio benefits. It has a wider reach and can disseminate information to a bigger audience quickly. Like for example, magpost ka sa Facebook so people will see it and read your post and they will share it or act on it. And that is one of the examples of text-based communication. And just remember to everyone, is it okay to post everything on social media? But think first before you post. For me, I don't care if magpost ka. Uh, for me, if we are friends on Facebook or not, I don't care if you uh, magpost ka o mga nasty pictures or mga inconsiderate posts. That is your social media account, not mine. So you are in a right age, I think. And to think if it's if that is right or wrong. You are matured enough or knowledgeable enough kung is it okay but to post that kind of post. And always put in your mind that not every... Uh, again, ha, please always put in your mind that not every part of your private life needs to be posted in public. <laughs> so again, the first and second, the first, second, and third modes are all virtual in nature. Those engaged in communication are able to hear and see each other in real time, simulating the actual physical setting. And that's the end of our unit two. Lesson one discussion. But before uh, you stop this, uh, watching this pre-recorded video, I want you to answer this question. Very timely. <laughs> so here's the question. Among the four communication modes, the face-to-face, -face, video, audio, and text-based communication, for you, what is the best mode to use in schooling? Then post your answer in the comment section where I posted this pre-recorded video. You are given two days uh, to post your answer and beyond uh, and posting beyond the two days and your answer will be considered as void and follow this format your answer uh, your family name followed by your answer okay thank you so much and have a great day everyone see you next time keep safe and god bless us all